2008, a Montreal bagel traveled to space. Not this very one, but one just like it, made here at the Fairmont Bakery because uh, one of the astronauts was a Montreal boy. Uh, astronaut Chamerov didn't want to be without his bagels on his uh, long trip to the space station. So 18 of these went into space. Bagel, of course, has a very interesting history. Uh, it goes back to the uh, 1700s when uh, supposedly a Viennese baker, a uh, Jewish baker, uh, decided that he wanted to thank the Polish king for protecting Vienna from the Turks. So he made a piece of dough in the shape of a stirrup because he knew that the king liked riding horses. That supposedly is where the baker's history began. But Montreal is really the, the mecca of bageldom. We have all kinds of bagel here. Uh, we have uh, whole wheat bagel, we have flaxseed bagel, we have blueberry bagel, uh, we have sweet bagels, we have pretzel bagel, we have all kinds of bagel. It's interesting, you know, nutritionally. I mean, some people criticize the bagel. Uh, why? They say that when you bake it, you get acrylamide, which is true. The amount is, is very, very small. Of course, it has white flour, so the gluten, anti-gluten people attack it. And this one has sesame seeds, and uh, people say that we have seen a tremendous increase in sesame seed allergy because people are eating so many uh, bagels. But the real mystery about the bagel is why the Montreal bagel tastes so much better than any other bagel. People say that it's because of the malt that is added or because of the water that is boiled in or the honey that's added to the water. Who knows? Uh, other places, of course, do have bagel, but they're kind of like a, a dough with a hole in it. Uh, this is really the real stuff. Now, it doesn't mean that there's no controversy about it because, as I said, we have all kinds of bagel in Montreal including this rather bizarre monstrosity uh, made with the same kind of dough and uh, it's supposed to be attractive to children because of all of the, the colors. Well, food dyes, of course, are controversial as well. Uh, since the 1970s, we've had stories about food dyes causing uh, attention deficit disorder or hyperactivity in children. Uh, those studies are kind of all over the place. They haven't really been uh, duplicated. But the question we have to ask is, why do we really need this? Uh, even though we don't have any concrete evidence that the food dyes do any harm, they don't do any good. Uh, they are not nutritious, they don't add any preservative value, so why put these into food? So I, I think I uh, will forego that one, but this one, the Montreal bagel with the sesame street seeds, boy, that's something to enjoy. Mm.